good morning students so we are going to continue with the topic active and passive voice our topic for today would also be active and passive voice i hope you have done your homework now today we are going to begin with die transitive verb okay when we were when we had started this topic there was a term die transitive verb which was said that it would be discussed later on okay so now we are going to study what is die transitive verbs what is die transitive verbs die transitive verb is a verb in which there is two subjects okay when the where, sorry when where there is two objects die transitive verb means where there is two objects so far it has been discussed that a sentence may be changed into passive voice when the transitive verb has only one object when a transitive verb has two object there are two possible ways of converting the sentence into passive voice okay so it is being said here earlier when we were converting active voice into passive voice we had only one object now here we are going to have two objects and converting them into passive voice there would be two different ways okay two possible ways in a sen- in such sentence either of the two object may be used as the subject in the passive voice while the other remains unchanged and is called retained object okay so here it is being said in such a sentence means when a sentence has two objects in this when we are converting it into passive voice what we would do we would take either matlab dono mein se from Uh, any of the two objects we would take one and use it as the subject and other object would remain unchanged okay and that unchanged object would be called retained retained object what is retained object unchanged object okay a retained object is the unchanged object i hope it is clear up till now now let's move on to the example so that you can understand it for example he gave us some almonds he gave us some almonds in this sentence some almonds is a direct object us is an indirect object okay he gave us some almonds indirect object okay he gave what he gave some almonds to whom to us theek hai 
so he gave some almonds to us so here us is indirect object and some almonds becomes the direct object so the sentence is he gave us some almonds so now when it is converted into passive voice either of the two objects can be used as a subject ab kya hai when we have to convert this sentence into passive voice in dono object mein se koi bhi object use kiya ja sakta hai as a subject okay we can use either of the one as a subject so so the passive voice would be should i okay i'm rubbing it off please take down the screenshot okay so one would be one sentence of passive voice would be some almonds were given to us okay this is one way of writing a passive sentence when we have when we are having two objects another way would be <coughs> we were given some almonds okay this would be another way of writing a passive sentence some and uh, some almonds were given to us we were given some almonds okay so mostly we would prefer option number 1 okay when we are said he gave us some almonds and we have to convert this into passive voice we would immediately say that what we would say some almonds were given to us this this sentence won't be used immediately okay no one we mostly uh, all of us would say some almonds were given to us we won't be using this sentence now let's move on to further example few more examples so this is an active voice which has two verbs he gave her some roses so it is active voice there are two verbs her is indirect object and some roses is direct object okay so when we are converting this sentence into passive voice it would become some roses were Okay, some roses were given to her. This is an passive voice, and in this we are using direct object as a as a subject. Okay, another example. He. sorry he knows the facts this is an active voice now 
passive voice would be the facts the facts are known to us okay passive voice this is c the facts are known to us i hope it is clear to all of you students what is a ditransitive verb and how we make a sentence how we transform the sentence from active voice to passive voice when we are dealing with ditransitive verb so okay one more example is given in your book she made him complete the task so the passive voice would be what she made him complete the task this is active voice and we when we are when we are what transforming this sentence into passive voice it would become he made he was made okay she made him complete the task he was made to complete the task now a note there is one important note that you should keep in mind it is use of by become unnecessary in passive voice when emphasis is on the action rather than the doer okay that's why we haven't wrote by her okay that's the reason we didn't use he was made to complete the task by her because here the focus is on the completion of the action rather than the rather than the doer am i clear so use of by becomes unnecessary in passive voice when emphasis is on the action rather than the doer when the doer is unknown when the doer of the action is obvious or when the doer of the action is a large group of different individuals ye sari terms and condition jab rehti hain then we don't when then we don't use then we don't emphasize or think about the doer we just focus on the action for example passive voice fruit salad was served to the guests okay now let's complete this let's move on to the exercise number t what is this exercise what we have to do in this exercise rewrite the following sentence in the passive voice first one has been done for you so we have to begin with the second one firstly the information excited us so the answer to this is given we were excited by the information another one is we know her weak points we know her weak points so the answer to this would become so the answer to this would be her weak points her weak points are known to us 
her weak points are known to us another sentence few sheets were given to us third one so the answer to this would become we were given we were given few sheets we were given few sheets by them is it clear fourth one is they threw the ball at ram they threw the ball at ram the ball was thrown at ram by them or you would call it the ball was thrown at rama by them is it clear all of you please take down the screenshot please take down the screenshot students okay let me rub it off so another sentence fifth one in early age in the <coughs> in the early age men hunted animals so so the sentence would become uh animals were hunted animals were hunted by men in the early age okay the sixth sentence the teacher is correcting our the teacher is correcting our papers so the answer to this would become our papers being our papers are being corrected by the by the teacher okay please take down the screenshot students okay i hope all of you have taken down the screenshot i'm rubbing it off seventh sentence is we have forwarded the letter we have forwarded the letter to the head of the office we have forwarded the letter to the head of the office the sentence would become the letter have been the letter have sorry has been forwarded forwarded to the head office by us the letter has been forwarded to the head office by us and the final sentence of this exercise is eighth one they organize matches every month they organize matches every month so the sentence to this would become matches matches are 
organized by them every month matches are organized by them every month please take down the screenshot beta all of you please take down the screenshot okay now let's move on to the another heading conversion of interrogative sentence into passive voice how you are going to convert interrogative sentence to passive voice okay so this is the next heading that we are going to do read the following sentence do they watch the match every month do they watch the match every month this is active voice and when we are converting this sentence into passive voice we are saying is the match being sorry is the match watched every month is the match watched every month so this is a passive voice another sentence did mother bakes these biscuits did mother bake these biscuits were these biscuits baked by mother so this is an interrogative active voice sentence and we have converted it into interrogative passive voice sentence so what is being said here it is evident that auxiliary verb do does did in an interrogative sentence in the active voice change into is are were okay auxiliary verb do does did changed into is are were in passive structure auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs like have has in the active voice in interrogative sentence changed to have been plus part is past participle of the verb model like can must should do not change in active or passive voice so the, there is some terms and condition that we are talking about and how this conversion takes place okay so when a question being uh, begins with who what which and it is changed in uh, from passive to, uh, sorry active to passive voice the question word does not change in the beginning and a proposition usually by is placed towards the end of the question means if a active voice sentence interrogative sentence starts with what who what which then in when it is converted into passive voice we don't do we don't uh, change the beginning of the passive uh, voice sentence but we add a preposition by at the end of the sentence for example which road have the protesters blocked which road have the protesters blocked so 
this is an active voice sentence and it is it begins with which okay auxiliary verb which so it would remain same which road half ka ho jayega has which road has been blocked by the protesters okay when the sentence begins with auxiliary verb who what which the beginning of the passive voice doesn't change we just add a preposition by at the end of the passive voice interrogative sentence am i clear is it clear to all of you okay beta so we would be continuing this chapter in in the next class your homework for today would be do the exercise you okay this is your homework okay till then bye bye take care